The UK government has just lurched out of a horror fortnight, losing two senior ministers over serious misbehaviour. Small beer, says the most excitingly named man in British politics, Lord Adonis, a.k.a. Baron Adonis, a.k.a. Andrew Adonis, Tony Blair's former head of policy. All governments lose cabinet ministers because they behave badly, he says. There are always more where they came from. The real crisis is, and always has been, Brexit. The UK is on the cusp of disaster, Lord Adonis says. It's 500 days since the country voted to leave the European Union, and the depth of the precipice opening under its feet is becoming clear. This is a genuine crisis, he says. A real and existential crisis, in historic terms. A complete redrawing of all international alliances and trading policies, as a nation. Leaving the EU is stupid and illiterate, he says. There is a cliff edge coming, either at the Brexit moment of March 2019 or after a two-year transition period. When the country goes over that cliff edge into a hard Brexit outside Europe's single market and customs union, Lord Adonis says, there will likely be a serious economic crash. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. But the crisis is more than an economic one. Politics in the UK is being strained and deformed, as politicians process their employers' demands. That are just not up to it, says Adam Bolton, a veteran Sky News presenter who has been reporting politics since the Thatcher years. I have never seen such poor calibre of leadership across the board at Westminster, he says. Given Britain is in the process of taking a serious existential decision for a generation that is extremely distressing. Lord Adonis is a little more generous. Referendums are all very well when people agree with their political leaders, he says. But when they disagree, what happens? You have the extraordinary situation of a political class having to pursue a policy which almost nobody agrees with but feels at the moment incapable of changing. At the end of October Lord Adonis, former Liberal Democratic leader Nick Clegg and Tory ex-Chancellor Ken Clark slunk into the European Commission to meet chief Brexit negotiators. Asked if they were there for advice on how to stop Brexit, Clegg replied if only it were that easy, and Clark joked we are here to talk about cricket. But Lord Adonis is clear. He is building a rebel alliance. He wants to stop Brexit before it's too late. What I am playing for an increasingly large number of sensible people in Westminster are playing for, across all parties including the Conservative Party, is basically trying to stop this madness, he says. Brexit has yet happened, but seismic tremors are already detectable. The UK economy is now one of the poorest performers among its European contemporaries. A no-deal Brexit may lead to corporate flight from the city, the bedrock of London's corporate economy. This week the Bank of America announced the move of 200 sales and trading staff to Paris and Frankfurt, a Dow payment on its Brexit plan. Goldman CEO Lloyd Blackfay is flirting with Frankfurt and Paris on Twitter, praising the former city's weather and the latter's food.